everyone, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe? What do I have sitting on my kitchen counter? Well, I have two massive stacks of envelopes. Um, it is tax season again, and the, the bills and the taxes keep coming, which, you know, um, for me means journal stuff. So, it's, I don't know what it is about this time of the year. We just get inundated with just different statements. And yes, I know I can go paperless, but during this time, it's so much easier to have the paper so that you can turn stuff in. But anyway, um, I've got lots of envelopes. So what do I do with those envelopes? Well, I make journals. And here are just a few of the ones that I've been working on. And I just want to flip through like one of them so that I can give you an idea of what I've been doing. So I don't know which one. I'm gonna go for this one just because it has several different envelopes. So um, I got this idea of having an outside envelope be folded this way. And our natural gas company in Oklahoma has these beautiful green envelopes that I just really look forward to kind of collecting. So I have a bunch of those and it just went really well with these these flowers. And all of these journals are made without digitals so that I was trying to minimize the amount of stuff that you would have to print out. So nothing's been printed and it's just book pages. I think I used maybe three sheets of scrapbook paper and then, but most of it is book pages. And uh, so, and then just like a pink colored copy paper, I, I've been using quite a bit of that and copy paper. So it's it's really trying to recycle as much as possible. Here's, um, this is how this folds out and just chitter chattering here. In the back, I have two pocket um, spots here. So, and they're just scraps of paper. There's not really anything. This is from a birthday card, I think. So it's pretty full in there. So these are a little tight. Inside these, I just have like one piece and then some book page out here too. So I have a notebook paper and then just a section of a coffee dyed binder paper, which I think has a lovely crinkle to it. Sometimes when you're opening this up, this gets weak. So I just put some paper on it so that it'll give it a little bit of substance. So same thing in here, just some leftover bits and stuff. This is just a, I was trying something new, like a 3D thing. And so that's a stamp of a dragonfly that didn't even come out very well. So I ended up kind of coloring it with some coloring pencils, but there's book page, a part of a tea bag, a stamp. And um, I, I did sew some fabric so that this hinge would be pretty good. So there's a, a pocket here with a whole bunch of items in there that I'm not going to bother. It's just bits and pieces of paper. You know how that goes. This is a, whoa, a tiny little junk journal that I made with coffee dyed paper and then also some of my fountain ink papers. So when I'm cleaning out my fountain pen inks, it's, I just put them onto some copy paper and then I end up with this beautiful crinkly um, paper. So I try not to waste my inks either. And uh, anyway, I know I, I've got issues. So this is just a little piece of folded up pink paper and then some copy dyed paper that I just kind of finger painted some bronze paint on to give it a little bit of metallic. This is yet another envelope. So the envelopes that I've used, there's one here, one, so there's a pocket in here. This one is envelope number two that doesn't open up at all. Okay, I guess I closed that up entirely. Yeah, all right. And then this is envelope three right here that has a whole bunch of stuff and then envelope four. So this envelope here has, what in there okay another uh this is one of the papers that i was coloring on it was not the best paper so i painted on it and just put a little piece of that in there and that's just coffee dyed binder paper cheap cheap 
And some of those I got from my kids end of the school year notebooks that, you know, they don't use all of them. And so you just copy dye them. There's a little notepad in here that I made with some of the pink paper, uh, just literally scrapbook odds and ends of scraps in there. Anything pink, I just kind of put it all together. It's another part of the ink dyed paper, a tiny little notebook that I made with just leftover scraps. And then this is an envelope, a coin envelope that I made myself with some of the Amazon packaging that I have and it just has a little card in there. And because it was really cheapy cheapy, I fortified it with a little bit of the fabric that I used on the edge and also made a tiny little fabric pocket here to go in that way. So what I did was I have these coin envelopes. This color just was not going with this and I wanted it to look a little bit different. So I just kind of looked at this and saw that there's really not much to it. You make a tube and then you just fold it here and cut away a piece and it. I was able to make it in like two seconds. So anyway, so that is how these journals look. And each one has its own little personality to it. So this one had, you know, pinks and, well, lots of pinks and magentas in it. And then this one I'm not gonna spend too much time in. So I took the bill pocket, the glassine pocket. In this one, I really did use a, a coin one. So there's just a little piece there, a pocket with something in here. So this is one envelope. This one I used four. So one, two, three, and four. And each of these has a pocket. This is just an accordion piece to write on. Okay. And just some fun things. And okay. And this one I did a different kind of a pocket, which I'm gonna do with in another tutorial on how to do that. But this pocket opens up here. Again, another bill envelope that was just folded over. So I have that and this, and then this is a larger pocket up here. All right, so I just wanna show you those two. Well, no, I wanna show you, well, I'm gonna do a Valentine's one in another video. Uh, this one I do wanna show you because it's a, a big one. So sometimes you end up with really big envelopes. And so I, I took some of the bigger ones. So this is one, this is one envelope here, see it? All right, that's one envelope. Here's two envelopes. This one I turn inside out and um, you can see it here. That's three. And then this one is a huge envelope, four. So I thought this one turned out really, really pretty. And how do you go back? Okay, I've got one, two, three. And then in the back, you can just see that that still says tax document and that's just the back of the envelope. And it also has just kind of like a surprise glassing pocket, which I didn't put there. It just was a part of the envelope. So four envelopes for that guy also. And those are large envelopes. And this one is one large. And then, whoops, he's uh, one, two, three. One large, one, one small, another small, and yet another, I think. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know, but I just wanted to give you some ideas on this. And then one more. That looks like this one. Yes. Okay, so it's fun. I don't know if you can tell. It's so much fun, and it's so addictive. And yes, they take forever because you have to try and figure out what you want to do. But on each one of these, I just tried to use mostly book pages, some napkins to decoupage. But if I didn't, what I ended up doing was using, oh, uh, there's a runaway bookmark. But what I ended up doing was really trying to use uh, the book pages mostly to cover up everything. And then I t went through my scrapbook pads. Yes, I actually used my scrapbook paper pads. And that was really my own challenge to see how many paper 
papers I could use, scrapbook papers. And on average, it was taking me about three to four per journal, which is like nothing. So anyway, I just really encourage you to try this out. So when I um, turn that one inside out, you just, uh, you actually look for the ones that have that kind of a thing, although you can turn this one inside out too, but they have these beautiful patterns inside and they work really great with just like a blue envelope. All right, so what do I look for? Well, I look for about four envelopes and you want them to be different in size, although the you want two of them to be the same size, so almost like a book like this one. I zoomed out. This stack that's making me go up to the camera. There we go. So two envelopes that are the same size like this, one and two. And it doesn't matter if it's like a flat fold or this because you're tucking stuff inside anyway. Although this one, I would probably turn inside out because this is the same one as that one. Yes, it is. All right, so um, I if there's a pattern on the inside, I usually flip it inside out. But you want two envelopes that are the same. And then you want something that's a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller so that you can stagger them and that they look decent, if you know what I mean. So staggering means like this. You've got a big, small, and then in this one, I think I did that. Why did I tie it up? Yes, I did. Okay, fantastic. So this opens up like a book, you know what I mean? Open it up like a book. So those two are the same. These two, if you can tell, they're, they're smaller, like shorter envelopes. And that way they just get tucked in really well. So this one's like a folio where you fold it this way and then it opens up this way. You don't have to have four envelopes. You can only have two if you want to just make a journal um, out of two of them. But I like to have the flips and the folds. So uh, that's what I would look for. One, two, three, four. And that's really the reason why you want kind of a, a stack going so that you can figure out what, what do you want to do? So what I did was I took four envelopes and I'm doing kind of like this, but I, this one was like a make a wish. So it had really long windows and I decided to do a wrap around on this one. And then I ended up just just using some masking tape just so I could kind of see what it looks like but it opens up like a book and then it opens up like this and I have not done a darn thing with it but you've got a, po a pocket here and then see how this is super weak I'm gonna have to fortify that with scrapbook paper and book pages etc etc and then sometimes I just put the masking tape down so that I can add fabric and so you can sew it. But if you don't sew it, you can even leave the masking tape right there and call it a day. This one, you can glue it in. But before I do that, I usually try to put some book page that I glue down. And then let me show you what I do here. So this is not a pocket. This one is. So I just kind of course I don't measure it but I just kind of round it out and then I leave a little bit of space here and you can just make some pockets for your junk journal that way too now I'll clean that up but then it becomes a pocket when it's closed up so see you have it this this way and on this one I may actually glue it down and have like a pocket this way and just kind of punch it out here but this one ends up being a little cute little pocket. See how great that is? So, okay, one, two, three, four, and a half-ish. And I just kind of paper clip them until I'm ready to use them because if I like the way they're going, then I just kind of start tucking in these things. All right, so this one I get from Ligonier Ministries and they, they just have really great font and, um, pretty pictures and then they also have usually use a little stamp also so what I do is I try to use like you know two of those and try not to mess that up but that glassine window ends up being on the inside there's one on the outside I don't really worry about that too much and then here's two more that are a little shorter so this one is also ready to go now let me show you 
This one's glued up. Did I show you this already? No, I have not. Okay, this also opens up like a book, but then it has pages in it like a book. So what I did was, I didn't even glue it. So I took a book page and put it inside because this was a Hallmark card and it got opened this way. How oh dare they? Oh, it was a Christmas card. That's what happened. And I just took a little bit of, uh, you know, the, the paper that they, they sent, um, just, just some scrap paper. And then what I'm going to do is when it comes time, it becomes a hinge and then it opens this way. Then they can flip it like a book and this opens this way and this way. See, isn't that great? So the inside ones are just a little bit smaller than the outside ones. So that's kind of the rule that I have. I don't know if maybe somebody else has a different rule. And then if you don't even want to use book pages, look at how pretty they look coffee dyed. Look at that. And it even gets on the inside to make it pretty. So these are, I think, all Christmas cards. So I even was like, ooh, this will go great in here. So this is a tiny little Christmas card one. I don't think I attached this one at all. Nope. Okay, so these two I attached by just kind of tucking one into the other. So those are two that are same size. This one, I think I'm gonna glue here so that it opens up like that. And then this one open in there. I don't know if I'm gonna put something on the outside of it. Don't know yet. But anyway, so this one is kind of ready to go. So you can just see me kind of throwing these together as I just think about it. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put this in here too. I got these coin envelopes and I'm really determined to use them wherever I can. Oh, go in there. Okay, so oh, maybe I just go like this with it. Alrighty. So another one that's coffee dyed and just a little bit different. So I just took a sheet of paper and kind of wrapped it around. So what I'm gonna do is glue this on so that this is a flap that opens up like this, maybe even a pocket right here, a pocket here. But this is also gonna open up like a book. And then that part is there. These two are just tucked in there. So you have a pocket here and one here. This envelope, I don't know if you can tell, but I glued it down already and it opens to the back. Is there anything else that opens up now? Okay, so here I might do like a journal and glue it down so that uh, the back side is an open journal. And this was only three envelopes, so one, two, one to the back. So just trying, you know, different things. Oh, and one more. Don't know where you go yet. Don't know where you go yet. So anyway, um, on the coffee dyed ones, I just think they're so beautiful that you don't even have to embellish them in hardly with anything. Like a little bit of coffee dyed envelope and some, I don't know, some book page is just beautiful as it is. Oh, here's my stack of blues, okay. So a little obsessy about the blue security envelopes. Here we go, that, I thought I had one. So really this one, you know, it looks like a normal envelope. I just open the whole thing up and you can literally glue it down and then fold it over this way and then put some, and then I have this here. So I'm gonna glue some of this to the inside where this big dent was where I was trying to open it. But look at how pretty that is. You can actually mail these. So I would love to get an envelope like this in the mail. I think they're so pretty. So anyway, all that beauty hiding on the inside of the envelopes. Here's another one. Here's like some grays. Here's more of the blue diamond. Anyway, so. You don't have to throw your bill envelopes away. They're free. I encourage you to use them. Sometimes you get these, hey, you're preferred. And what I did was I took that paper and just went ahead and glued it down because look how pretty that is. I don't know what I'm doing with that yet, but all my blue stuff is kind of all together. My daughter gave me 
one of these so that goes in here also because I can anyway yeah so that is what I've been up to in terms of junk journaling and that's mostly why I have not put a video together yet because I've you get in that zone and then you're just kind of in that zone and you are creating a way and I don't like to stop until I have something to show you but my stack of envelopes is still pretty thick and I feel a blue journal coming on and then I think I'm gonna do some of these antique uh, antique as if they were um, coffee dyed ones next and of course like I said it's just fun to even just go through and kind of put these together have them ready for when you want to create but don't forget if you're getting your income tax statements in gather your stuff up and really start thinking about how you're going to put that into practice by making these lovelies and then giving them away as gifts how fun so if you would like to check out some of my other videos just stay tuned because i'm going to be making a valentine's one and then i also have some um that i am working on that are just like ephemera packets just using envelopes so anyway those are coming up next and until then bye